flowers mark the spot where a mother and three children died in a crash that no one can make any sense of. Melissa most. Cortez was in a different car at the time of the crash and was also hit in the collision. I hear a noise and then got my attention. I look up and I see a spinning minivan and then for it was too late for me to react and then it hit me. Her injuries were minor, though her heart is broken for the four people from three different families that are now forever changed. When I woke up and I realized what happened, I struggled getting the seatbelt off of me, struggled getting out for one minute, and then eventually I did get out, and I saw too much that I wish I didn't see. My own eyes. I hated my own eyes that day. 38-year-old Andrea Hudson was killed in that crash Tuesday. Her two children were also in the car. They're alive, but injured and in the hospital. The older kids all participate in like a class together. So she was picking them up and taking them all home. Hudson's sister says Andrea Hudson was behind the wheel of a minivan carrying five children. She is the best person you could ever ask for in your life. Um, she is very quiet, but is always like serving and doing kind things for people. Two sisters, 12 year old Tilly and 13 year old Eloise were also killed along a 12 year old boy whose family called him Buster. Cortez says she can't understand why the children weren't spared. A question that no one can answer. I couldn't sleep ever since that happened. Like, I know I'm not the one that caused it, but for some reason, I still feel grief. Just hours after the accident, investigators said there's a motorcycle racing down right now. Uh, investigators very early on said they believe speed was a factor. They suspect an 18 year old was behind the wheel of an Audi with dealer plates. He's in the hospital and we're told will likely face charges.